first started in real estate, other agents at my firm didn't want to show buyers property near downtown Durham because they considered it to be a dangerous place. Downtown Durham probably has the highest population of people of color. I decided to start Urban Durham because I wanted a place that felt like it was invested in the community. And one of the things that we did from the day we opened our doors is we have a policy where for every transaction that's closed, we have that agent make a donation to a local nonprofit. Marcel Thomas joined Urban Durham a few years ago, and from the moment she walked into our office, she has been bringing us amazing projects to work on, and we love her for it. I work with a lot of first-time home buyers, many whom are minority. Everything from going to classes on improving their credit to going to the self-help credit union. One of the biggest obstacles for buyers is coming up with cash for closing. We really wanted our 2021 fundraising goal to be about helping to reduce the racial home ownership gap. And we are going to partner with the National Association of Real Estate Brokers to help provide closing cost loans for black home buyers in the Durham area. We are worse off now in terms of the black white racial home ownership disparity than we were 50 years ago. And a lot of that is due to the 2008 subprime loans where black homeowners were twice as likely as white homeowners to have a subprime loan, meaning that they were disproportionately at risk for losing their home. Once people have this asset of their home, we feel firmly that not to sell the house is the right choice in many cases but it can be really hard to keep up their home. And there are so many people in that position, so many people. Marcel introduced me to Jessica Barnes, a single mom with two kids who inherited her home from her father. Her father was too ill to maintain the home anymore, and literally everything was broken. So we essentially completely gutted the house and renovated it. We probably had bit off more than we could chew because we are not in the construction business, but the home was fabulous after. We care a lot about fair housing, and I think that that shows in our values, and it does earn us a lot of business because people care a lot about that. 